Hi yogis, thank you for watching my yoga channel. My name is Mika. I'm a yoga teacher in Tokyo. So today I'm gonna share the sequence, exactly the same sequence as I told last Saturday in Shibuya. So let's get started. So come to your child pose first. And a little bit observe our breath. Deep inhale through your nose. Imagine you are sending your inhalation into the back of your chest. As you exhale, soften your shoulders. Let the heaviness on your shoulders go away from you. One more deep inhale through your nose. Fill your chest with the air as you exhale again relax around your shoulders slowly slowly find your way to downward facing dog so this is the first downward facing dog of this class so maybe you wanna pedal your feet right and left first to stretch out all your body. So take any movement that your body needs to do. Keep breathing. Once your body is stretched out, I want you to check your downward facing dog in a proper alignment. Feet or hip with the support, which means two fists between your feet, and the hands are a little bit wider than your shoulder with support, and spreading all your ten fingers, press into the palms actively, squeeze your belly in towards the bottom of your spine, deep inhale through your nose. Feel your energy sloping up through your spine towards the sit bones. Exhale, drive your heels down into your mat. One more deep inhale, Fliano. Deep exhale, Fliano. Next inhalation, lift your heels off of your mat. As you exhale, lower your heels down again. One more time, like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower your heels down. Next time, lift your heels off of your mat. As you exhale, bend into your knees. Look at your between your hands. Pull your hips up and backward. Imagine you are getting your sternum down towards your spine so that you can get a nice back belly. From here, walk your feet forward slowly, slowly until they come between your hands. As you exhale deep forward bend. Separate your feet hip with support as the same effort with the downward facing dog. Two fists between your feet. Two fingers grab your big toes. Lengthen through your spine first. As you exhale, leaning over your legs. Padangustasana. Hold in this pose for three breaths. Exhale one. To open up our hamstrings first. Exhale to drop your head heavy down towards your mat. Keep your elbows wide. One more deep inhale through your mouth. Exhale. Try to lift your kneecaps off of your. Try to lift your kneecaps up. Release your big toes, bend your knees, arms over your head, chair pose. Extend your legs low, 
to clear sounds when leaning backward set your hips forward open your chest inhale come all the way up lift your heels up bring your arms behind your back like a ski I forgot but downhill skier pose like slowly slowly lower your right heel down from here lift your left toes off of your mat start to straighten out the body with your left slowly slowly lower your left big toe at the back of your mat and arms over your head high lunge so put your hands again right thumb behind your left thumb keep your arms long as you exhale twist to the right side reach through your arms as you exhale spread your arms wide right hand down to touch your left hamstrings lift your left arm up as you exhale, hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest. You stay here for one breath, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Look down at your right toes bring your left foot next to your right foot same feet distance two fists between your feet arms over your head downhill ski your pose again lift your heels off of your back bring your arms behind your back lean forward lean forward slowly slowly Lower your left heel down onto your mat. Slowly, slowly lift your right toes off of your mat. In this, at this moment, both knees are bent. From here, slowly, slowly start to straighten out both legs. It's kind of tough movement. Place your right toes at the back of your mat. Inhale, hands over your head. High lunge. Hook your thumb. Left toes behind your right toe. Keep your arms straight. As you exhale, turn your torso to the left. Keep your arms straight. Keep your hips square. As you exhale, twist your left torso to the left even more. Inhale, lengthening. As you exhale, spread your arms wide. Inhale, reverse left hand. Touch is your right hamstrings. Lift your right arm up to the ceiling. As you exhale, hook your right elbow outside of your left knee. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest. We stay here for one breath. Inhale, feel your spine lengthening. Exhale, feel your belly squeezed into the bottom of your spine look down at your left toes shift your weight onto your left foot lift your right leg up as you exhale place your right foot where it was okay arms over your head chair pose again downhill skier pose lift your heels off of your mat Bring your arms behind your back. Keep your heels as high as you can. Lean forward as much as you can. So slowly, slowly lower your both heels down. Bring your arms over your head. Chair pose again. Sit lower. Inhale, extend your legs long. Hook your thumbs. Exhale, leaning backward. Inhale, come all the way up. Side bend. Left hand 
and you can tease your right wrist. Exhale, lean to the left. Open your right side body. One more deep inhale, three and out. Inhale, come all the way up. Second side, right hand catches your left wrist to open your left side body. Leaning to the right side. Deep inhale, three and out. Deep exhale, three and out. So, use your feet actively to press into your mat. Send your hips to the left. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, leaning forward. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Open your chest. Sun salutation, right foot back, left foot back. Back. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, forward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Deep inhale, suyano. Deep exhale, Fliano. Second floor. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands. Left heel down. Arms over your head. Warrior one. So, I want you to take a basic warrior one first. Exhale, one. sit lower. Pull your right hip backward. Exhale, two. Send your left hip forward. Open your chest. From here, so I'm gonna add some movement. Hook your thumbs. Right thumb behind your left thumb. Slowly, slowly lift your left heel or hover your mat. Line the leg. Line the leg. Exhale, twist to the right. Keep your arms straight from here. Inhale, lengthen through your both legs. Keep your torso twisted to the right. Exhale, bend your right knee. Keep your left leg straight as much as you can. Inhale, lengthen through your both legs. Keep your torso to the right side. Keep your hips square. Keep your arms straight. Exhale, bend your right knee. Again, last one. Inhale, lengthen through your both legs. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Exhale, bend your front leg. Spread your arms wide. T. Inhale, levers. Right hand touches your left hamstring. Lift your left arm up. As you exhale, hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Same thing. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Or if you're flexible enough, place your left hand outside of your right knee, right foot. Keep your right knee 19 degrees. Inhale, lift your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your right arm over your head. So, your option, you can stay in player or you can sp sp spread your arms wide or you can even bring your right arm over your head. One more deep breath in. Feel your spine lengthening. Feel your left leg straight. Exhale. Turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Bring your right hand behind your back. Lift your left arm up over your head. Exhale. Turn your torso to the left. Bring your arms in eagle pose, eagle. Left arm under, right arm up. Turn your right toes a bit. Turn knee, exhale, bend your knees, round your spine. Ooh. Inhale, lift. Straighten out your both legs and lift your elbows as high as you can. Exhale, round and car. So, you're gonna do this two or three more times as your own rhythm. Inhale up, exhale, round and car. Inhale, lift, extending out, 
uh, Sarah Rangan car last time of this inhale lift. Next time you're gonna shrink, stay there and swing your arms right and left. Relax your torso. So we're gonna face to the backward. <sighs> Lunge your legs, but we are facing to the back side of your room. Left knee bend, lift your right heel up. Inhale, lift your elbows up again. As you exhale, run and car. Squeeze your belly in. Shift your weight onto your left foot so that you can lift your right leg up at your hips level. You stay here for one breath. Inhale, exhale, turn your right hip downwards so that you can keep your hips square. Inhale, pull your right knee towards your chest to come all the way into eagle pose. Which means you cross, the, you cross your right leg over the left leg. Sit lower, bend your left leg. Squeeze your elbows in, squeeze your knees towards each other. One more deep inhale through your nose. Fill your body up with the energy. Release your arms, release your legs. Standing split, both hands onto your mat by your left foot. Lift your right leg nice and high. From here, you're gonna jump three times with your left foot. One, two, and three. Come all the way into three leg dog. Bring your right foot between your hands. Left heel down. Open warrior two. We are going back to the front side of this room. Arms over your head. Look up to the ceiling. Flying warrior. Exhale, bend your left knee. Front warrior. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right hand down. Left arm up. Exhale. Cartwheel your hands down. Take a vinyasa. Any type of vinyasa should be fine. Regular one or one leg vinyasa. We're gonna meet in downward facing a lot. Deep inhale through your nose. And deep exhale through your nose. Second side of the second floor. Lift your left leg nice and high. Exhale, bring your left foot between your hands. Hold your one, right heel down, arms over your head. So first, I want you to take a regular warrior one. Feel your body in this amazing pose. Pull your left hip backward. Send your right hip forward. Deep inhale through your nose. Feel your spine lengthening. Feel your hips downward. One more deep inhale through your nose. Feel your sit bones in. Feel your tailbone down. Hook your thumbs. Left, right thumb. Left the thumb behind your right thumb. Keep your arms long. Slowly, slowly. Lift your right heel above your arm. As you exhale. Turn your chest to the left, so you don't change anything in your legs. Just turn your torso to the left side. Keep your arms straight. From here, let's go. Inhale, start to lengthen into the head. Exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale, lengthen through your legs. Exhale, bend your left knee until it gets 
19 degrees, turn your torso to the left. Inhale, lengthen through your leg. Exhale. Bend your left knee. Last one, of this. Inhale, lengthen through your both legs. Keep your arms straight. Keep your hips square. Exhale, bend your left knee. Spread your arms wide. T-shape. Inhale, left hand up. Right arm up. Exhale. Close your right elbow outside of your left knee. Palms together or your option, your choice. Right hand outside of your left foot. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Spread your arms wide. Or you can even bring your left arm over your head to get deeper this pose. Inhale through your nose to get this pose deeper. Deep inhale through your nose. As you exhale, try to turn your right chest up towards the ceiling. From here, bring your left hand behind your back. Come all the way, pivot to the right side. Bring your arms, uh, eagle, right arm under, left arm top. Turn your left toes inward. Lift your elbows up, look up to the ceiling. As you exhale, round and curve and bend your knee. Your elbows are touching your rib cage, almost touching. Inhale, straighten up. Both legs straight. Lift your elbows up. Exhale. Round and go. You can, you may even lift your heels off of your mat if you want to add more something. Inhale, lower your heels up. Lift your heels up. Tuck your seat body. Look up to the ceiling. Exhale, round and curve. So keep doing this as your own rhythm of breath. Lift up and round and curve. Maybe this is the last one. Lower your heels down. Swing your torso left and right. Next time, your torso is coming to the right side. Turn your torso to the backward. Keep your left heel over your mat. Get your torso up. Lift your elbows up. As you exhale, round and curve. Shift your weight onto your right foot so that your left leg are lifting up over your mat. We stay here for one breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Turn your left hip downward so that you can keep your hips square. Inhale through your left knee up towards your chest. Exhale, eagle rest. So we are officially in Garudasana eagle pose. Exhale one, squeeze your knees in towards each other. Exhale two, squeeze your belly in. Try to sit lower, round your back. Keep your forearm parallel to the floor. Release your arms so that your energy start to flow through your whole body. Standing split, both hands down onto your mat by your right foot. Keep your left leg nice and high. So from here, you're gonna jump three times with your right foot. Flat onto your mat. Place into your hands actively and jump one and jump two. If you can, try to add something. Handstand here. Three legs up. Exhale, bring your left foot into your hands. Right here, down. Come all the way to body up too. So we're gonna go back to the front side of this room. Inhale, lift it over here. Exhale, bend your right knee, front warrior. Inhale, reverse. Left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, curl, wheel your hands down onto your mat. 
three legs up again or take any types of vinyasa you like we're gonna meet him downward facing the inhale three and out exhale three and out one more deep breathing deep breath out inhale tippy toe exhale lower your heels down One more time. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look up between your hands. Step or jump to bring your feet to the top. So once you come back to the top of your yoga mat, hug your both legs. Pull your forehead towards your shin. Release your legs. So, same thing. Two fists between your feet. Bend your knees, hands over your head. Chair. Straighten out your leg. This time, left hand catches your right wrist. Exhale, leaning to the left side. You don't need to turn to the left. I don't have a space, so I turn to the left. And also, so that you can see better. Drop your left hand down. Get your left fingertips down towards your left ankle. From here, shift your weight onto your left foot. Slowly, slowly slide your left hand down literally towards your left ankle Maybe on your mat Lift your right leg up Somehow we are in Adho Chandrasana You stay here or bend your right knee Right hand catches your right foot from the pinky side Turn your chest up towards the ceiling. See if you can. Lift your left hand. Off of your mat. Let's go back. Where we were. Release your right foot. Aruda Chandrasana. Left hand touches your left wrist. And slowly, slowly lift yourself up. Right foot down. Left arm up. <sighs> Switch to the side. Right hand catches your left wrist. Lean to the right side. First, lean to the right side. Lean to the right side. Lean to the side, right side. And drop your right hand down. Get your right fingertips down towards your right calf or shin or ankle <sighs> slowly slowly slide your right hand <sighs> actually right ankle or the mat so we are in now Arda Chandras <sighs> open your left hip wide and lift your left arm up so this is a Arda Chandrasana or you can go for Chapasana Bend your left knee, left hand catches your, the top of your left foot from the pinky side and also try to turn your chest up towards the ceiling and also if you want to try more See if you can lift your right hand over your mat. Kind of difficult. Bring your right hand closer to your right foot. 
sorry, excuse me, release your left leg first and from here slowly slowly use your belly to lift yourself up the slower the more difficult but also fun arms over your head <sighs> exhale lower yourself hinging from your hips forward bend <sighs> shake your torso right and left Lift your toes off of your mat. Bring your hips backward. Walk your hands forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Flat onto your feet. Clopods. Place your knees on top of your triceps. Maybe we're gonna meet in downward facing dog from here. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale through your nose. One more thing. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Two fingers. Grab your big toe. Same pose. Maintain through your spine first. Exhale, fold over your left. Padanushtasana. Keep your elbows wide. Shift your weight on your toes. Not leaning backward. You are leaning forward. One more deep inhale, Flyanos. Deep exhale, Flyanos. Release your big toes and Keep your feet and hips with the upward. Bring your hands behind your heels. So your shoulders are behind your knees. From here, don't change the position of your hands and feet. Just bend your knees, lower your hips up, press into your hands actively so that your toes eventually automatically homoyama. So if you can come in this pose, hold this pose for three breaths. Inhale, three and out. Exhale, one. Your triceps and your inner thighs are pressing each other. One more deep inhale, three and out. Press into your hands actively. Exhale, lower your feet down to your mat. Walk your hands forward. Plank. Take a vinyasa. Bend your elbows to clear things up. Exhale, downward facing. Deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale through your nose. One more thing before the final sequence. Lift your right leg nice and high. Bend your right knee, open your right hip. Flip your dog, right foot behind your bar. Lift your right arm off of your mat. And then right hand comes back onto your mat. Lift your right hand, right leg up. Exhale, bring your right foot outside of your right hand. So lizard pose. First, turn your right toes outward. Place your forearms onto your mat. So, if you are a little bit tighter, maybe you need something height underneath your right forearm. Or even you might need to use your hands to lift yourself up. But if you are flexible enough, forearms onto your mat. Deep inhale to the animal. Deep exhale to the animal. Keep your left leg straight and don't drop your left hip down. Keep your left hip upward so that your hips are square. From here, soften your left knee down onto your mat. And tuck your left toes. Walk your hands towards your pubic bone. 
so that you can open uh, the front belly. Keep your right knee away from you so that you can open your right inner thigh around your hip, right hip. If you can, lift your arms over your head. Left the head down. Turn your chest to the right side. Okay, right hand comes back onto your mat. Right leg backward. Downward facing. Inhale. Deep exhale. Left side. Lift your left leg up. Open your left hip. Bend your left knee. Flip your top. Lift your left hand over your mat. Place your left foot behind your back. Wild thing. Left hand comes back onto your mat. Lift your left leg up. Three leg dog. Exhale, bring your left foot outside of your left hand. So same thing, turn your left toes outward. And then place your forearms onto your mat. So if you need, please use something of height four underneath your left forearm lift your right hip up to keep your hips square deep inhale through your nose deep exhale through your nose don't drop your gaze downward maybe you're looking Four, so that the, your chest are open. Soften your right knee down onto your mat and tap your right toes. Walk your hand towards your pivot bone so that you can open the front of your body. Try to get your right hip down closer to your mat. Keep your left knee away from you. Don't bring your left knee inward. Left knee is, left knee wants to go away from your belly. See, you can feel the stretch along the inner thigh, left inner thigh. So if you want to add more, this is easier, left arm up, just left arm up. But if you want to go a little bit intense on, bring both arms over, deep inhale through your arm. As you exhale, right hand now, bring your left arm behind your back. Okay, left hand comes back onto your mat, left leg backward, now we're facing. Deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale through your nose. So this is a final form, yay! Before that, take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, deep breath out. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Look up with your hands. Step or jump. Feet to top. Two feet to between your feet. Same thing. Bend your knees. Arms over your head. Chair. Exhale, downhill ski pose. Lift your heels up over your mat. Bring your arms backward. Lower your right heel down. Lift your left toes off of your mat. Straighten out your both legs. Keep your hips there. Slowly, slowly lower your left toes at the back of your yoga mat. Come up into a high lunge. Hook your thumbs. Right thumb behind your left thumb. Sit lower. Inhale. Reach through your arm. As you exhale, just turn your 
torso to the right. Inhale. Straight down to your front leg, right leg. Exhale. Bend your right leg. One more. Inhale. Straight down to your right leg. Exhale, right leg bent. Spread your arms wide. Reverse. Right hand touches your left hamstring or left calf. Lift your left arm up to the sky or backward. Exhale. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Palms together or separate your arms wide. Or you can even bring your right arm over your head. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose from the bottom of your belly. Inhale, come all the way up. Pivot into eagle arms. Turn your right toes a bit inward. Lift your elbows up. Exhale, round and call. Maybe you want to lift your heels or hobble your mat. Inhale, lower your heels up, down. Lift your elbows up. Exhale, round and call. Lift your heels or hobble your Lower your heels down. Swing your torso right and left. Next time, you're gonna come back to the left side. Come up your torso facing backward. Lounge legs. Lift your elbows up again, but this feels different from the pose we did before. Exhale, round and curl. Shift your weight onto your left foot. Lift your right leg up. Keep your right hip downward. Inhale, pull your right knee up towards your chest. Exhale. Legs into eagle pose. So we are officially in Naludasana. But this time, release your arms up to the ceiling. And then exhale, twist to the right side. Spread your arms wide. Inhale, bring your arms over your head. Right arm goes underneath your hips. Inhale, arms over your head. Twist to the left side. Spread your arms wide into T. Inhale, drop your left hand down. And inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Whew. Release your right leg backward. Stand in the split. <sighs> Bring your right toes at the back of your yoga mat. Lift your left leg nice and high. Exhale, bring your left foot outside of your left hand. From here, left arm goes through underneath your left thigh. And also, bring your right arm behind your back. Maybe you're gonna um, bind this hand together behind your back. Exhale one. But that doesn't necessarily. So keep your arms straight facing backward like your airplane. Exhale two. Last one. From here, if you are binded, release your bind. Right hand, place your right hand on top of your yoga mat and then shift your weight. But keep your left hand behind your back. Shift your weight onto your left foot and your right hand 80% onto your left foot. Actually, um, right hand, you don't use it that much. Actively, right hand. Lift your right leg up to the sky. From here, bend your right knee. See if you can catch this right foot with your left hand. So remember, your left hand, left arm, went through inside of your left inner thigh. So, which means this pose is not a seat standing in compass pose. This is a super soldier pose. Left hand grabs your right toes. 
point your right kneecaps up towards the ceiling. One more deep inhale, play your mouth. Deep exhale, play your mouth. Okay, release your right leg if you bind it. Place your left hand outside of your left foot. Standing split. From here, pistol squat. Start to bend into your left knee. And use your hands. Get your right leg through. Oh, backward. Sit on to your mat. Maui Chasana. Left foot. Uh, and the right leg doesn't touch, two fists between your feet, left foot and right leg, left arm goes uh, outside of your left shin, bring your right hand behind your back, left hand catches your right wrist, lengthen through your spine, as you exhale lean forward. So this is a Mawichi Asana A. Try to lower your left hip downward. Since your left hip tends to be off of your up, tends to lift up off of your mouth. One more deep inhale through your mouth. Get your left hip downward. So the purpose of this pose is for the bend, lengthening your organs. Inhale, lift up. Release your mind if you find it. Place your left foot on top of the right thigh. Half lotus spore. What we gonna do is inhale arms over your head. Exhale, leaning forward. Just forward. So left heel is placing into your lower belly so that uh, you can active, activate your lower abdomen, including lower band. Deep inhale through your mouth. Deep exhale through your mouth. Next pose is a twist. So, place your left foot outside of your right thigh, or you can go Marichi Asana T. So, this is a Marichi Asana knee, but this pose is a little bit difficult for many of us. So, left foot outside of your right leg and Hook your left elbow outside of your left knee and then you just twist to the right side. Right hand uh, behind your is behind your hips, not backward, closer to your hips so that you can stand your spine upward. If you place your right hand a bit far away right from you, you're gonna lean backward. You don't want to do that, so place your right hand closer to your butt. Okay, that's enough. Delete your twist and place your left foot where it was and pistol squat again. Lift your hips off of your mat, palms together. But I need to use my hand to get this right leg upward standing split as you exhale lower your right foot next to your left foot but remember hip with the supper <sighs> so second side of the third sequence bend your knees hands over your head <sighs> Downhill skier, bring your arms backward, lift your heels off of your mat, exhale, lower your left heel down, lift your right toes off of your mat, start to straighten out your both legs, exhale, place your right toes at the back of your mat, 
arms over your head, inhale. Put the thumbs, left thumb behind your right thumb. Lengthen through your spine. Keep your left knee nice and 19 degrees. Exhale, twist to the left side. Inhale, straighten out your left leg. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, lengthen through your left leg. Keep your torso to the left side. Exhale, bend. Spread your arms wide. Lean backward. Left hand touches your right hamstrings or calf. Lift your right arm up. Exhale, right elbow outside of your left knee. Palms touching or spread your arms wide. Or even bringing your left arm over your head. Deep it up to your nose. As you exhale, try to turn your right chest up towards the ceiling a little bit more. Exhale, bring your left hand behind your back. Inhale, come all the way. Pivot into goddess eagle pose. Right arm under, left arm up top. Turn your left toes a bit inward. Exhale, run in car. Inhale, lift. Straighten front to your both leg. Exhale, round and up. Maybe you want to lift your heels off of your mat. Last one. Lower your heels down. Lift your arms up. Look up to the ceiling. Exhale, round and up. Squeeze your belly in. Lift your heels off of your mat. Swing your torso. Round and Swing your torso right and left. Next time, your forearms coming to the front. Lift your torso up, come all the way up. Keep your left heel up. Off of your butt. Lift your elbows up. Exhale, run, call forward. Shift your weight on to your right leg. Turn your left hip downward. Inhale, pull your left knee up towards your chest. Eagle pose. Exhale, get your left leg close over your right leg and sit lower. We are officially in eagle pose, but release your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, twist to the left side. Arms wide. T shape. Inhale. Bring your left arm underneath your hip. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, twist to the right side. Inhale, bring your arms over your head again. And release your left leg. Into upward. Press your both hands. Next to your right foot. <sighs> Place your left foot at the back of your yoga mat. Bring your right leg upward. Three leg up. Exhale. Place your right foot outside of your right hand. Right arm goes through underneath your right leg. Bring your left arm backward. So, see if you can bind your arms, but that doesn't necessarily. The important thing in here is that right arm, get your right arm uh, through underneath your right leg and right knee. And you stay here for one more breath, deep breath in, deep breath out, open your chest. Look forward, look forward. So if you are binded, release your left hand and place your left hand on top of your yoga mat. Shift your weight onto your right foot and left hand so that you can lift your left leg up to the ceiling. So this is uh, the preparation for super soldier pose. Important thing is that Right arm is behind your right leg. 
and bend your left knee try to catch your left toe with your right hand once you can catch your left toe see if you can lift your left knee up even higher up towards the ceiling one more deep inhale to the not even you can even lift your left hand off of your mouth ah, release your hand both hand right hand outside of your right hip lift your left leg nice and high pistol squat if you can bring your left foot forward without using your hand ah, lower your hips down Oh, Marichasana. So, left leg and the right foot are not touching. There's a space about two feet between them. Right there, arm goes outside of your right shin and bring your left hand behind your back right hand touches your left wrist left hand to your spine, inhale as you exhale, lean forward over your left leg keep your right hip onto your mat as much as you can right hip is actually lifting Hohobuyama but you wanna get your right hip downward as much as possible. Deep inhale, Suyama. Deep exhale, Suyama. This pose helps us to stretch our organs. So uh, it, this is it's really actually really good pose. Deep inhale, Sayama. Deep exhale, Sayama. Your right foot is pressing into your mat actively and point your right toes up towards the ceiling. Oh, lift yourself up. Half lotus. Place your right foot on top of your left thigh. The top of your left thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, leaning forward. So use your right heel to press your lower belly inward. Inhale, come all the way up. So that's the thing we do is up. Uh, Twisting. So maybe Marichasana C is acceptable, but if you wanna uh, do this a little bit easier, right foot outside of your left leg and place your left hand behind your hips, lift your right arm up, exhale, hook your Oh, this is actually different. So you twist to the right side. Lift the elbow outside of your right knee. Deep inhale, Fliano. Deep exhale, Fliano. Keep your right hand closer to your butt. Release your twist. Okay, place your right foot where it was. Lift your left foot up. Pistol squat. Place your hands onto your mat so that you can lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower your left foot down next to your right foot. We're gonna sit. Bend your knees, lower your hips down. 
Squeeze your knees towards your chest. Lift your toes off of your So I think I made a mistake twisting to the left side. So bend your left knee. Place your left foot outside of your right thigh. And then you want to twist to the left side. Deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale through your nose. I hope uh, you twist it to both sides in this class. Actually, we twist it a lot, so it doesn't, uh, not that much big problem. But as long as I realize it, I will want it to fix it. Okay, release. <sighs> Shake your leg. Lower yourself down to your mat. So take a shavasana. Or if you wanna uh, do other poses, maybe shoulder stand or breathe or something, please do and uh, please take a shavasana after that. If you feel uncomfortable on your back, maybe hug your knees and roll your back right and left before taking a shavasana. You can even add a twist pose here. But like I said, we twist it a lot. Even just before this pose. So this twisting, it's not necessary, but it always feels good taking spine twisted before shavasana. With a lying down on your back. Shavasana. Mm -hmm. 